Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here and I am back getting in to give you guys another fresh look courtesy of my friends over at NECA Toys and we're totally checking out their brand new ultimate ghost face action figure from the Scream franchise. He's been ultimated this time more articulation than prior releases, previous toys of his ghost face nature. The box is really nice, all black, nice photos, ghost face, icon of Halloween returns, blah blah blah, 25 points of articulation. We got some flame glow going on, I'm excited about that. Mask glows in the dark, open it up, you can see the figure, nice photo of it. Here's everyone involved that had their hand in making this figure a reality, so thanks for that. Our code, if you want to find him, he is starting to hit Target stores now. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee, put on your favorite scary movie. This is a look at the brand new NECA Toys Ultimate Ghost Face from Scream. And here's old Ghost Face out of the packaging, and I like that he comes with a number of different accessories. You get different head portraits. Yeah, they're all the same, but it's different iterations, movies, such like that. Hands, knives. The little speaker box thing and a giant scythe, but he looks pretty dang good. I like that they made an action figure and they put some cloth goods on him. That's that's a good way to do it. You get a lot of momentum, got a lot of movement out of him. He's got a nice pair of shoes, which you can clearly see. But the robe, like most, we'll say, cloth goods when you put on action figures, it does get a little heavy-handed when you try to move him around. But the shoes are nice, pants are nice, everything is sculpted nicely. I do think that the gown should have been a little bit longer, maybe towards the bottom of his feet, but it's not a terrible thing. You can pull it up a little bit, and you get to see he's just like a flat, black, sort of sculptless base with some legs attached to him. So that's kind of interesting to see. But it works well within the realm of what you want to see with this figure. He's got nice head articulation, and again, yes, the robe is going to move around with it, but you just kind of have to work with it. He looks up really nice, looks down, so that's cool. And I'll show you how to swap out the heads. That's actually a nice little trick that they did. Arms, largely unhindered. They go up, they go down. You'll get semblances where the material get pinched in there. He's got double-jointed elbows, which that is nice as well. The cloth material around his arms is very hard to kind of pull back, so if you want, you can look at it, but it's not something I'm going to ruin the figure over. He's got a nice ab crunch, and he sort of kind of goes back when he twists as well. He will kick out. Just be careful. You don't want to go too extreme with this. You don't want to ruin anything or split the gown or anything like that. Single-jointed knees. Nice articulation in the feet. However, just at the tips of his sculpted pants... It gets kind of hard to kind of move his foot forward. He is a little unsteady sometimes to stand. I recommend a NECA stand, just FYI. Switching out the heads is pretty easy. You just kind of pull back the hood, pop the head off, which comes out pretty nicely. It's not too shabby at all. And then, I don't know, let's do the flame glow effect. Just put it right back on the ball joint just like that. It slips on elegantly. It's perfection. And then this also just kind of keeps it on. You don't actually don't have to put the heads on all the way if you don't want Kind of makes it easier to swap them in and out. The hood will do it for you. So that works. I like that. The best part about this ghost face is you get multiple looks with one figure. And he comes with all the accessories that you would want. Multiple knives, which he holds. He does have sculpted hands. To, you kind of have to fidget around with it. That's what I recommend. Don't get too frustrated at this figure. I think that certain hands hold to certain weapons, and that's what it's made for, especially when holding, let's say, the speaker device, which looks good, is painted well, looks like it's straight out of the film. The scythe, though, is my favorite. I really like that. Scream, Ghostface as like a figure of death and everything, using this as a tool, that's creepy, it's cool, it gives a little element to him, so I'm glad they included it. Plus, the glow in the dark is there. It's not hugely bright. Put them up against the light, but it is nice that they included that. It'll look good when you turn the lights out off in your office or whatnot. As far as scaling goes, he's around that 7-inch mark. So he's shorter than the 8-inch cloth goods, shorter than, let's say, Diamond Select, taller than Mezco, right? But it does look good with certain Batman figures, just FYI. McFarlane toys and, of course, Marvel Legends. So yeah, he will be on the 7 inch taller scale. And just an FYI, if you want to do equip, let's say this ghost face with some more bludgeoning bloody materials, I do recommend heading over to superactionstuff.com. Check them out on Instagram as well. This is their bag of violence. 
which it says it all in the name right there. Bludgeoning tools, blood, guts, everything else, everything to lay the smack down and <laughs> brutally kill your action figure comrades. Here's all their information. Definitely check them out. And thanks for sending this over as well. This ghost face is having a blast, apparently. So that's really going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new NECA Toys ghost face action figure from the Scream franchise. And again, thank you to NECA for sending this over to give you guys this fresh look. I like this figure a lot. He does get a little top heavy. Use a stand. I think the gown should have been just a little bit lower, just FYI. But, but the weapons, the extra hands, the heads, everything makes this the ultimate ghost face. I think the only thing that's missing, hey, would have been like that MTV Scream show. That would, this is a different type of mask. But hey, that would have been cool as well. Can't go wrong. Holds everything nicely. It's everything you want in a ghost face. Blood splattered mask, regular mask, burn mask, glow in the dark mask. You'll find something here that you like. But I'm curious to know what you guys think. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Scream and Ghostface. What's your favorite movie from the Scream franchise? Scream 5's coming out too. That's going to be good. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, what's your favorite scary movie? And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, 